Okay, my name is Charlie Newton, and I'm a painter. And my project is called The Black Bible. Yes, my project, what I'm trying to do is basically start a conversation. So I'm positing some alternative views or alternative narratives to the Bible story. I'm sort of going against the grain of uh, historical, the historical practice of portraying uh, biblical characters as Caucasian or European. I'm using uh, images of people of color, which is closer to a, uh, a, a, the correct narrative. For me, it's, it's very encouraging to know that uh, my city uh, supports my practice. Often artists have to leave their city in order to become successful. But I have so much history here. This is where I was born. And so, you know, I've struggled for years with leaving Chattanooga and coming back to Chattanooga. What the grant has done for me is it bought me a period of time to focus on my work. So it means the world to any artist to have that type of time. Our project was mainly based on African oral storytelling. So in the evening, they'll gather all the kids after dinner or supper, then they'll, they'll tell us the story. In between the story, there's music in between the story. There's drumming in it, there's singing, there's dancing in it to break the story so that you not be too boring. Just talk, 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 talk. So that there's some kind of entertainment in it. Um, the grand as a whole was, was really a combination of several years of conversations about like Kofi's like, you should come to Ghana with me. And I was like, of course I want to go to Ghana with you. Um, but really like, how can we use that in connection to Chattanooga? And how can we use that in connection um, to our sense of place? And how can we pull in the storytelling? And I'm like, we're still telling stories that came over on the slave ships from West Africa. So like, why were those stories so strong? Like, why have we carried on aspects of this? So I'm like, let's just go to the source. <laughs> so when this opportunity came up through Arts Build, it was pretty much, yeah, this is the time. So it was really good to, you know, to partner with uh, Jasmine to go and, you know, learn from some of the best artists in Ghana. You know, they, they work with the national group, the uh, Ghana Dance Ensemble that is uh, in the National Theatre. Um, I think most artists should apply if you're if you're eligible. It's a great experience, even if you don't get the if you don't get the grant award. Like you've written down your vision, you've written down what you want to do, and it's a great starting platform for moving forward. Apply for it if you get it. Go back, learn something, bring it back, so that we can all experience what you you have as an artist.